How to split objects and add modifiers using Prusa Slicer. I designed a lamp that you can print on a Prusa Mini or larger. To help with printing, I combined all the parts into one plate. As you can see, it's just one giant part. Sometimes you'll import something from somebody and they have basically it's designed to print in a bunch of pieces and to simplify it, they'll make one giant part for you to print. But what if you only want to print one of these parts? This is a leaf for a lamp that I created that is printed in multiple parts. This is a little bit of a weak area and it's strong enough for what is needed, but I need to reprint this piece and I thought while I'm reprinting it, I might as well strengthen it. To print just this piece, right click over here and we can split. We'll split to objects. So now I can see these are already all selected. If I hold down the shift key, I can click on this and it deselects that. And then these are already all selected. I can just hit the delete key and take those away. Hit A for auto arrange. And we just have the individual piece that we need. Now that we have this piece selected, I can add a modifier to strengthen this area up here. If we just slice it as is, there's a low bed adhesion. So why is that there? If you look at the bottom of the part, it's not really a whole lot of contact on the bed. So to change that, we will go into our print settings and we will change our skirt and brim. We'll give it an eight millimeter brim. Let's go back back. We'll slice again and our error is gone. But if you look through here, what our biggest concern about this is, this is kind of weak through here. Mine broke somewhere in here, fell off the desk, but somewhere in here. So I need to strengthen that. So let's go back to our regular view, look straight on. I don't like this perspective view for getting things lined up where I need them. So I'm gonna go to the configurations, preferences, you can do command comma and under camera, turn off perspective view. And now it's straight on wherever you're moving it. So, okay. We want this area thicker. And so I'm going to right click over here and I'm going to add a modifier. Cylinder should work for what I need. You could use a box as well. Hit one for a straight down view. Move it there. Three for a frontal view. Move this up straight, somewhere roughly in the middle. The S for scale. Stretch this up. Probably want to go a little deeper in here, somewhere in there. And we want it to go wider, but scaling's turned on. We'll turn off scaling. And it's still doing the wide scaling. So if we just tilt down, we can see the red handles and then scale out that way. I don't really want to do the whole thing, so and again, green handles to go this way. Look down, we can move this back and see how we're covered here. It'll give us the strength that we need up to about there. Uh, that should do about for what we need. S to turn off scaling. And now we want to modify that. So right click over here and the easy ones are infill and layer. The infill should be okay. We just want more perimeters. We just want more perimeters. So we'll select that. Our options are down here. The standard perimeters are two. Kick that up to five and then slice now. And you can see as we scroll up and down here, it is a solid fill down to here and then it opens up a bit. So we got nice little extra strength into there. And then right here it drops back to one. So if 
that. Now when we print this out, this will be nicely reinforced and stronger in through here and moves the breaking point from here down to further up. Hope you find that helpful and thank you for watching.